Today I'm sharing with you my four favorite mascaras, a variety of price ranges. The most expensive one being $38, the cheapest one being $8. So here we go. Okay, in the order that I'm gonna be using them, first, the Chanel Le Volume. Yes, it's $38, that's the most expensive one. Honestly, that's probably my favorite, truthfully. I think that's kind of the gold standard, but I'm also gonna be showing you, I also like this one a lot. So, the La Colossal from Maybelline, also a very good one, and it is $7.99, so you can't beat that price. And the L'Oreal Voluminous, right there, old school, it's been around for a while, but that's also still one of my top three favorite for lower lashes, by far my favorite is the Dr. Hauschka, and it is over $30 as well, but a great mascara. It's different. The reason I like it for lower lashes, you can see, it is like super thin, and you can really get in there. I don't like a lot of product on my lower lashes, so I think that is why I really am drawn to this one, at least for my lower lashes, because I don't want too much going on down there. I kind of want the focus to be up top. But either way, I think that's a great one, especially for lower lashes. Again, not super inexpensive, the Dr. Hauschka, but a great one. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Chanel. And I think its official name is Le Volume de Chanel. I'm sure you're supposed to say that with a French accent. I never did very well in French class in college, so I'm just gonna pronounce it as I pronounce it. So this one is thicker, definitely. But as you can see, it goes on well. It's not clumpy, but it is thicker. And I tend to like mascaras better when they're not brand new. Sometimes they're really moist when they're brand new. And as they, you know, in the week or two or three after you get them, they're just easier to work with. But you can see, I mean, that, like I said, that's probably my gold standard. It's hard to beat that one. And I know it's $38. It lasts me a good while, several months. So I do admit that's one of my beauty splurges. I haven't been using it that long, but it's a very good one. And... My litmus test always for any product that I use is, does it work? And am I comfortable with the ingredients in it? Am I comfortable putting those on my body? So all of these, I am. Traditionally, mascaras, you'll probably notice, have a ton of ingredients in them, usually. And so sometimes it can be kind of difficult to know all of them, but I do try and study them best I can and find the ones that are cleaner. I also have to say, and I forgot to put eyeliner on this eye, I just realized that, but... The eyeliner that I'm using right now, this Chic Alley, and it's a local Houston, Texas product. I'm gonna try and do my best to kind of try and get up underneath there. The reason I am really liking this eyeliner right now is because it is super, super, super thin and natural looking. So that's why I really am using this one like every day right now. I kind of did a little bit of a wing with my eyeshadow there earlier, but the reason I like this one again is it's just so thin. You can see there how thin that is. And when the woman reached out to tell me about her product, she also told me it's vegan, cruelty-free, and then also she gives 10% of the proceeds that she makes from this to an actual cancer patient, a woman that's fighting cancer. So it's always nice to be able to help out and feel like you're doing something good as well. Okay, so now for the Maybelline Colossal product. It's, it's a close second, and it's $7.99. It's a, it's a great product. So it's, we'll see if you can tell the difference here once we uh, get it put on, but it really is. It's a good product, and again, I kind of like it after it's been open for a few weeks because I feel like it's dried out just a bit. Dries faster, dries better once you put it on. If you do find that your mascara is a little too wet when you do put it on and it's hard to dry and stuff. I usually will just take my hair dryer for a second. And just dry it. Yeah, it kind of messed up your hair. But you do that. 
dries quicker and it also kind of continues to curl them up a little bit more. And who doesn't want curlier eyelashes, right? Oh, another thing that I've been using lately that I like the, and I've like rubbed off all the letters on it, the Bella Hue, it's also a local company, Lash Serum. So I use this at night and I just put it, actually I put it on my eyebrows and my eyelashes, lower and upper. It's all natural, great product, and I can totally tell the difference that it does help with the, just my lashes look thicker, healthier. It's a great product and I will buy that over and over. Okay, so another one, hold on, I'm gonna finish this here, just with the lower ones, but I do have another honorable mention here that's also super cheap. I believe it is more around the $10 mark, but it's the L'Oreal Voluminous. Voluminous, I believe that's how you say that. That may be French as well, I don't know. But it's also a great product. I think that it's inexpensive, works well. It's a little drier to me. I feel like it can flake sometimes. Not always, but I feel like it can. So those are my favorites. I'm gonna put them all together so you can see. The Dr. Hauschka, the Chanel, a mess there. The Chanel, the Dr. Hauschka, the Chic Alley, the Bella Hue, the Maybelline Colossal, and the L'Oreal Voluminous. Oh, I do the curved brush as well. So if you have some others that you think are worth trying, that you're comfortable with the ingredients, and you like their performance as well, I'd love for you to share below. And as always, if you're enjoying my videos, please like and subscribe. We will see you soon.